Hello everyone, I'm Geeta Vara, Ayurvedic practitioner and wellness coach, and my mission is to help you become the healthiest version of yourselves in all areas of your life. Today, I want to do a deep dive into the topic of constipation. Now, I know many of you shy away from this subject as it's too, well, personal or taboo, or simply just too much information. But the fact remains, it is a natural body habit and you would be surprised at the number of people who really struggle with healthy bowel movements. What's more, so many people don't even pay attention to what comes out the other end, yet it is your single most obvious indicator to your gut health. Now, if you have ever visited an Ayurvedic practitioner, you will know too well that we are not shy to talk about in detail about your elimination since it is one of the cornerstones of maintaining a healthy digestive system and overall wellness. You see, due to our busy lives and erratic eating habits, many of us now have varied bowel habits and abnormal bowel movements have become the new normal. Gas, constipation, pain, bleeding, mucus and loose motions are all signs of an unhealthy digestive system but we are so used to living with bad patterns that we almost don't consider them to even be an issue. An ideal stool should be soft and formed, it should pass easily, and you can refer to the stool chart online to check where your bowel habits fit in. And you can share this with your practitioner if you do struggle to be descriptive. Regular bowel movements help clear accumulation of toxins and help us to feel lighter in the body and mind. Now, if we do have healthy bowel movements, we will experience several or all of the following signs. Firstly, you will have an unstimulated urge to evacuate at least once a day, usually first thing in the morning, which is the ideal time. You will feel the urge to evacuate at a regular time every day. Your motions will be soft and formed, and they will not have a profuse odor. Stools are likely to be medium brown to yellowish in color. Healthy stools should ideally float and not sink. And you will have a feeling of satisfaction after you've evacuated and you should not feel any discomfort or pain on evacuation except for a mild pressure. So, does this sound like you? Our bowel habits can shed light on our mind-body constitution, that we call it prakriti, and we can determine the characteristics of healthy and unhealthy movements specific to you. Contact your practitioner for more help on this. In the UK, constipation has been a growing concern, and in 2016, it was reported that constipation cost the NHS 145 million a year. In 2014 and 2015, more than 66,000 patients were admitted to hospital for issues relating to constipation. Now, I appreciate these numbers are a little out of date, but other reports also show that around 6.5 million people in the UK have health issues of some description of the bowel. Now, I have no doubt that if these cases were reported earlier, we could have prevented them by recognizing the earlier signs of digestive disturbances. So, what are the signs you can look out for to know if your bowel is disturbed and if you need to do something to heal it? Here are some signs that you can look out for by yourself. Infrequent bowel motions. So that could be passing stools less than three times a week. Maybe you have a reduced urge to pass stools. You may experience difficulty straining or pain on passing stools. Maybe you have abdominal bloating, distension and pain. This should not happen after every meal. Your stools may be small, hard or dry or all. And maybe you will have sticky stools. You may have a feeling of incomplete evacuation. Or you may get regular headaches or body aches. You may also experience bad breath or a coating on the tongue. And even a loss of appetite and nausea. Though many people resort to laxative, this is not really a long-term solution to ongoing cases of constipation, as our body can become resistant to them, and then they stop having the desired effect, as they can dry up the inner mucosa in our body. 
However, small changes to our diet and lifestyle can start to address the root of the problem and encourage the body's natural function to reboot. Constipation is predominantly triggered by an imbalance in the vata dosha, and since the colon is considered the home base of vata, it's no wonder that constipation is one of the first things to get triggered when we are out of balance. Here are some of my Ayurvedic tips to encourage a daily morning bowel movement. Firstly, avoid heavy late night meals and irregular meal times. Your body will just simply struggle to process. Avoid cold, heavy, dry and raw foods and instead favor warm and cooked foods and drinks. In the early morning, encourage a movement. So what you can do is take a squat position known as Ashwini Mudra or Malasana in yoga or use a stool to raise your legs when you're using the toilet to mimic that squat position. I cannot stress enough how important it is to stay well hydrated and drink warm lemon water in the morning and you can sip on licorice tea throughout the day. It is also important to be patient with your body. It is trying to create a new habit and that can take a little time. Use a toilet with good ventilation, space and privacy so that you are feeling comfortable. Give yourself an abdominal massage in a clockwise direction. You can try using castor oil or a warm vata balancing oil for this. Focus on the task at hand. That means no phones, magazine or other distractions while on the loo. You can call it conscious pooping if you like. <laughs> Do not suppress your urges. If you need to go, then go. That means going at work as well. Trust me, I have seen many clients who are not comfortable pooping at work. Eat a whole food diet of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lentils, seeds, and increase soluble fiber that comes from citrus fruits, apples, pears, barley, oat bran, and throw in some insoluble fiber in there a little bit for good measure. Avoid incompatible food combinations. Mixing fruit and dairy is one of the biggest culprits and you can watch my video on this for more details and the link is in the notes below. Try to eat consciously. That means slowing down, chewing well and eating with all your sensory organs so no distractions while you eat. Eat only if you are feeling hungry and try to keep your meal times regulated. Fasting and giving your digestive system a rest once a week can have huge benefits. Consult your practitioner about the best suitable fasting method for your body type and season. You can try a drink of 50 ml of prune juice mixed with 50 ml of warm water with a few pinches of rock salt to encourage a movement. The salt acts as an activator here. You can also take the infamous Ayurvedic Trifola compound with warm water before bed to encourage a movement in the morning. Make sure you're taking regular exercise. Exercise is key in the morning and it's the best time for us to move the stagnant kapha energy that has accumulated overnight. Do maintain a diet according to your mind body type or your prakruti. Oil-based Ayurvedic enemas could also be considered in certain cases. And last but by no means least is to manage and reduce your reaction to stress through breathing and meditation practices. Let's not forget how interconnected we actually really are. I hope you found this information useful. I would love to hear from you so please do leave a comment in the notes below. Feel free to like, share and subscribe for more Ayurvedic wisdom and connect with me over on Instagram where I share more regular posts. You can work with me through my workshops, coaching, consultations, my book and more, and all the links to connect with me are in the notes below. Love and light to you all. Have a wonderful day.